Hey everyone, HBO recently dropped a number of photos for Game of Thrones Season 7. They're really interesting and there's a lot we can glean from them. The last we saw Jon Snow, he was being named the King in the North. Now we see him underneath Winterfell in the crypts where their dead are buried. Whenever anybody's in the crypts, we usually see them visiting Lyanna Stark, which brings me to believe that even Jon is actually there to see her. This could be after Bran reveals who Jon's parents are, who he actually is, and I'm very excited about how he'll react to this revelation since it'll change his situation entirely. The next picture we have is of Jon Snow in snow at Winterfell. He seems to be leaving to go off somewhere. It's either to meet the heads of the other houses or he could be going to meet Daenerys in the south. Now, he's the big force in the north and Daenerys will probably become the big force in the south after she beats Cersei or requires his help to beat Cersei. So this meetup will probably be near about the end of the season, if not in the middle. This is another event that I'm very excited for. We also have Davos Seaworth sitting at the head table, donning some new fur. He seems to have joined the good guys co with John and Sam. We also have a picture of Lady Liana Mormont wearing the same fierce expression as ever. Though I think this is a still from the last season because we see little finger lurking in the background with his mockingbird pin. He continues to lurk, this time behind Brienne of Tarth, grinning at us in her armour. They're both in the balcony, so it's clearly an extension of the scene with little Finger and Sansa standing there, looking down at the court. They seem to be discussing something, and Sansa's got this amazing new poker face where she doesn't give anything away, especially in all her conversations with little Finger. You don't know what she's thinking. However, there have been quite a lot of hints that there will be a power struggle and a tension between Jon and Sansa regarding the Lord and Lady issue of Winterfell. And we can count on Littlefinger to egg her on and try to influence her to seize power. I don't know how far this will work because Sansa is pretty resilient, at least now, towards Littlefinger and influences such as that. And... Also because John, as far as she knows, is the last family she's got. There's a picture of Tormund in the courtyard at Winterfell again. So I'm guessing there's an entire sequence of scenes within that area. We've got John waving goodbye very nicely, very lovingly to somebody, presumably Sansa, who's up in the balcony with Littlefinger, who's whispering something. While Sansa is looking very cold and detached, not giving any of her emotions away, she's not letting anybody influence her. We've got Brienne in the balcony and another shot of Brienne and Tormund, which is perfect. I really, really ship Brienne and Tormund because they bring a much needed comic relief to the whole Winterfell situation, which is frankly too heavy sometimes. There's probably going to be a situation where some of the party will be heading south either to meet with Daenerys or head north to meet with the other lords or fight the White Walkers. And Sansa will stay at Winterfell to quite literally hold the fort, along with Brienne, of course, who's her protector, who's her personal guard now. We also see the entry of Arya Stark on the scene. It could possibly be at Winterfell or at King's Landing to get Cersei off her list. Now, any pictures so far of Arya Stark have always been out of any context of surrounding. She hasn't been seen in any specific area or terrain, neither are any specific buildings around her. We see her in a tavern, but it could be anywhere. It could be in Winterfell or it could be at the Twins. The only thing clear here is she's back on the road, she's travelling again and there's a big possibility that she'll meet her travelling partner, the Hound. Because he seems like he's going to Winterfell, he's got the snow and the fur. It's going to be quite interesting to see which characters have their reunions first. There's Varys sporting some fur for the first time and he's probably in the north as a spokesperson from Daenerys, furthering her cause by making new allies. We see Jamie and Cersei at King's Landing with Cersei on the throne and Jamie by her side per usual. However, I'm quite certain that Jamie's not going to be very happy about the path that Cersei's taken to getting on the throne to destroying all her enemies. So it's going to be very interesting to see how that works out as well. Then there's of course the big 
OMG picture of Danny and Drogon on the battlefield. Drogon looks huge and I'm pretty sure Viserion and Rhaegal are huge as well. But Drogon has had just that much more time to grow and he's supposed to get even more enormous. He'll get even more scarier. He was already pretty darn huge in the last season by the ending of it and now he'll get bigger and more scarier which is awesome because there's going to be a huge battle sequence this time with dragons in it. I'm so excited about it. There'll be a battle between probably Cersei and Danny's army where Danny will arrive on dragons. I'm so very excited. Please let me know what you thought of the video and what you think about the new pictures. What are your theories? Like, share, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.